They were my grandmother's dishes. My mom really treasured them, brought them out every holiday. So, <clears throat> Fourth of July, big holiday in our family. I come home. It's the first time since not only telling them I'm gay, but HIV positive, so everything's a little tense. Uh, so we're about to come sit for dinner, and <clears throat> Mom says, it's too much trouble to get out Grandma's dishes this year. She's going to use paper plates and plastic knives and forks and a great big plastic trash bag to dispose of it all the minute we finish eating. <laughs> I feel like a pariah. Yeah, you do. I tested positive a year ago, and I know this sounds strange, but in some ways, my life is better now. I used to be very self-involved. Now I spend a lot of time here at the hospital doing volunteer work with AIDS patients, running errands for them, writing letters, sometimes just keeping them company. We use the word empowerment a lot here. I promise you, if you keep coming back, you will feel empowered. Able to make the best of whatever happens. You were pretty quiet today. You all right? Yeah, Gil, I'm fine. I just, um... Uh, found out that a friend of mine died yesterday. Eight. Nope. He was a cop. He was my partner. And he died in the line of duty. I brought someone from the group I'd like you to meet. Great. She's been exposed to HIV. And she's waiting for her test results. Mm -hmm. She's having a really hard time today. A friend of hers was killed yesterday. I'd like to see her. Thank you. This is Ben, my best friend, Ben's lover of 11 years. And counting. Nice to meet you, Ben. Oh, likewise. Um, Bill says you're waiting for your test results, huh? Yeah. Uh, hell, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I remember. I guess I don't have to tell you I didn't get the news I was waiting for. I hope you do. Thank you. But yes, I, I want you to know that after, after I found out I was infected, uh, there are a lot of things that we could do that help keep me symptom free for more than six years. Hmm? And I've been in and out of this ward for Oh, uh, five or six months. Mm. And it is really tough sometimes. But Gil and I take it one day at a time, and I'm not giving up. I have too much to live for here. 